Are those new birth control pills? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let me doing it. Commence. Do you have to do that every time? Donna, if I had the money, I'd take out an ad in the paper. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Never say, oh, no, when you're talking about birth control pills. Anything's better than, oh, no. I forgot to take one. Except that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. One minute my life saw light and breezy, and the next I'm shackled to you and some kid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My heart is pounding so hard. Like in the cartoons when Daisy Duck sees Donald Duck and her heart goes, boom, 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 boom. But that was a happy thing, and this is because you couldn't keep your dirty hands off me. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's... Let's think. Hey, there's only a couple times a month something like this can happen, right? Maybe there's some kind of time-related loophole. Hey, did we spring forward or fall back? <laughs> when we did it? I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but it's the same every time. Well, I can't be that bad, Donna. I got you pregnant! <laughs> Eric, I can't believe you knocked up a girl, too! <laughs> I mean, you lose points for not doing it in a public place, but hey, give me five. Kelso, I don't really think this is a give me five moment, okay? I am really freaked out. Well, right now, I'm not so much freaked out as starving. <laughs> and fascinated by your nose. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> You'd be amazed at what I can fit up in there. <laughs> but the important thing is that you have responsibilities now. So you gotta step up like I did. Look, if you mean you stepped up on a urinal to climb out of a window to get away from the girl you got pregnant, then yeah, you stepped up. Still no Fez, huh? Wow, Kelsey, you really must have pissed him off. He hasn't stayed away this long since he discovered bubble baths. Yeah, Fez still isn't talking to me. But I think he's calling, because every once in a while I pick up the phone and all I hear is breathing and the crinkle of a candy being unwrapped. Well, we are sitting in the circle talking about relationships. What happened to us? The stash must be from California. Oh, hey, Donna, any news? Come on, that time of the month. No, nothing yet. Oh, God, I'm gonna throw up. I told you we should have gone to Denny's. <laughs> oh, yeah, Donna, let's not talk about throwing up in front of the customers. Ma'am, here's your creamed corn. I got no interest in getting a lady pregnant. That's why I'm celibate. I thought it was because no one would do it with you. But that's like a secondary reason. Look, Donna, we're going to figure this out, okay? Hey, you know what? We can ask my mom. She's a nurse. She loves this stuff. Well, at least once a week, she gives a talk about her uterus. Eric, I don't want your mom to know. Donna's right. There's no reason to let too many people know just yet. Who have you told so far? Well, just my friends and this nice couple. Okay, look, so I'll just tell you what my mom says, okay? Okay, just make sure she doesn't know you're talking about us. Tell you have a friend, a Canadian friend, who lives in an igloo so she can't call her. Donna, I think I know how to be subtle. Mommy, mommy, Donna might be pregnant. Did she trap you? We'll move you away. We won't play her game. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just I had to tell someone, hey, promise me you won't say anything to dad. Fine, I promise. Oh, this is all my fault. I should never have been intimate with your father while you were in the crib next to the bed. 